Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again. It's time for the J. Craig 5, maybe 10, minute movie review. Mortal Engines is directed by Christian Rivers, who looks to be the visual effects director for Peter Jackson and his group over the, over the last uh, 20 years with uh, King Kong, Lord of the Rings, and The Hobbit. Uh, and this is his big shot. Looks like he made another feature before this, but this is his step into the, the big leagues, it looks like. Uh, Mortal Engines is a post-apocalyptic story where mankind has, again, destroyed the Earth with a weapon called the Medusa, and it has rearranged... I mean, it looks sounds like it rearranged the tectonic plates of the Earth, and um, everything kind of was destroyed in a way. So what the Earth used to look like as far as where everything was has now been changed. So, um, no, no, bear with me. Just, just bear with me. Um, so to survive, mankind has lived is living on roaming uh, cities, fortresses. Um, they're on big, gigantic cars, you know, moving platforms that travel all over the place. They got to keep moving because the earth is, I'm guessing they got to keep moving because the earth is uh, unstable and you could just, it could just break through or a volcano could happen. So they're always moving. That's what I'm gathering. Now, I, I've also heard that this is a based upon a book series, which makes a lot of sense now based upon the fact that this thing is everywhere. It has no idea what story it's telling because it's trying to tell a story that's too big for a uh, a small window of uh, two hours. Um, So they're traveling on these big, giant moving fortresses. And then they have, um, so you have, you know, you have your stationary settlements that gather up and they they form like little towns and then they can pack up and move out, right? They can scatter because they scatter because they have these big, gigantic fortresses, these, these cities, I mean, huge, this one's called London, and it roams around looking for these little settlements. And it devours them in a way. It takes their people, uh, uses them, and then it um, takes the relics and all the, the fancy stuff they can find, and then it throws all the other stuff into the furnace to feed the beast. Okay. <sighs> That's the backstory. That's not the plot. So the plot is about uh, a, a group of re- resistance fighters who are trying to stop the guy who's in charge or wants to be in charge of London, the roaming city we're involved with. Uh, they want to stop him from causing more damage. That's one of the stories. There's a story about revenge for them. I think she's the main character. Uh, then there's a story about um, being accepted and finding out that you're being lied. So there's all these storylines, okay? But the story is about trying to stop the bad guy from causing more damage to an already destroyed Earth. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. So this movie is all over the place. Um, I, I this took me almost three minutes to talk about what this movie's about. This movie's boring as hell. This movie is really boring. It is all over the place. It doesn't know what story it's telling. Things happen, and then you're like, where'd that character go? The acting is very subpar. I don't know anybody who's in this movie, except for Hugo Weaving. Um, and and he's bored in this movie. There's all these characters who are very forgettable. Uh, none of them have anything worthwhile. Uh, there's like a Asian badass who, um, like a ninja in a way, but she looks like she belongs in the Matrix. I'm like, where'd you get the hair dye? Uh, and your clothes look really clean. Like, what's going on here? Um, it looks like a TV movie. It looks like a TV movie. Seriously. It, I mean, it looks like a very expensive sci-fi channel movie. I know that's not that we're going for here. This is the visual effects guy for these movies. But um, being able to put it all together, um, I mean, maybe someone like Peter Jackson should, should, could have handled something like this. This is a big story. And the fact that you take it from a book, if that's right. I was just told that by Paul after we left the movie. And I was like, all right, can we get out of here now? This movie's horrible um he's like yeah this is based upon a book i think and i was like oh it's a series no wonder they're trying to jam everything in why and and i no ill will to christian rivers here because you know this is his shot right he's worked in the industry for a while but now he gets a chance to direct not everyone can direct it's a very challenging job so he gets a shot and i don't blame him for taking it but you give a guy who is this his first time in the big leagues and you're gonna throw him up against this like there's there's no story here there's no characters here. There's a big giant robot that comes into play at some point in this movie. And I was like, where'd that come from? What's this? What's this? And then suddenly his story takes over the sum of the movie. And then I started to realize, well, that is something you could have showed in the beginning of the movie. That could have been your start. That's a better story. There's better things happening in the story than the story itself right? Like little things like, oh, that's a, that would have been interesting. I would have actually liked to see that story 
Or maybe that was that's that's an interesting story. I would have liked to see that part of it. But no, we have everything happening and none of it makes sense and none of it none of it matters because it's you don't care. You don't care. But this big giant robot thing th completely floored me. Oh, be prepared for flashbacks and then exposition to talk about the flashbacks while the flashbacks are happening. Ooh. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Yeah. So this movie's chock full of, of really good moments of of what were they thinking? <sighs> At any rate, I'd pass on this movie. There's a lot better things out right now. <clears throat> Even if you've already seen Deadpool 2, go see Once Upon a Deadpool, for one. That's much better than this. Um, and again, you know, I don't mean ill will towards Christian Rivers, but, you know, they kind of, it's like they didn't like him. Like, oh, you want to make your movie? Okay, here, make this. Okay, so at any rate, um, don't go see it. There you got Bumblebee coming out. You got Aquaman coming out. Um, heck, if you have two hours to spare, uh, listen to our action podcast. I think you're going to have more fun with that than this movie. So uh, a little plug for you there. Don't don't worry. Okay, so uh, hit the subscribe button, like, and follow us over here. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.